Hey there, welcome to the UCR Highlander family. My name is Jalen and I work for the orientation program here at UCR. Today we will be covering a few things you need to know before registering for your orientation session. The first thing you need to know is your net ID. Your net ID is sort of your UCR username. It typically looks like the first letter of your first name, the first four letters of your last name followed by three digits. You can find this on your My UCR page and we encourage you to memorize it or write it down because you will need it to register for orientation as well as many other things throughout your UCR journey. Another important number you'll need to memorize or write down is your student ID, which is a nine digit number that starts with 86 that can also be found on your My UCR page. Another thing we'll need to cover is Dual Mobile. Dual Mobile is a security app that you'll need to use every time you wanna log into your UCR related accounts. On Dual Mobile, you will be able to reset your password and create security questions and answers. Navigate to mobile devices, and then click add mobile device to be able to add a smartphone or tablet that you will use to access your account. After inputting your phone or tablet number information, you will be prompted to either scan a QR code or have the activation link via email. This will prompt you to download Dual Mobile on your mobile device and give you the final instructions of registering UCR to this app. If you have any questions about Dual Mobile, visit the ITS support website. Now that you've completed those steps, there may still be other things you need to do before registering for orientation. Make sure to check out the Next Steps to Enrollment page to stay up to date. Now that you're ready to register, you'll go to the Highlander Orientation website where you'll find a register button for first years and transfer students. Now what sessions should you attend? There are options all throughout the summer depending on your college or school, and if you don't know your college or school, you can check out your admissions letter. We encourage you to register for your session day early in order to give yourself enough time to prepare before orientation. Some of you might even be eligible for our priority session, so make sure you check out our website to see if that applies to you. Now that you're registered for orientation, there may still be other things you need to do before attending. So make sure you're checking out our website for our to-do list that includes things like your placement test, your vaccines, your statement of legal residency, and uploading a photo for your R card. If you have any questions about orientation, you can call or email us. And that's it, we'll see you in the summer.